what is up guys welcome back to my reaction channel and today we're gonna be reacting to going camping at the end of the world by internet historian you know the drill guys like the video subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for post notifications and if you have any suggestions you can comment down below also uh, playlist bro got playlist check out my playlist bro anyway let's get into the intro Baby, look at the size of that sponsor. NordVPN, bro. Just relax. Everything's totally serene. You're floating through a cloud. The sun is warm on your face. The end is nigh. <laughs> a prophecy has been foretold. The rapture is coming. And we have the specific date. Soon the believers will rise and the impure will be left below. So repent, sinner. Repent! Get your affairs in order. Take your preparation H. That's preparation for heaven. Because the world will officially end on May 21st, 2011. I thought it was 2012. Wait, what? May 21, oh. there's going to be a yeah, terrific smile. earthquake, way, way greater than anything that the earth has ever experienced. And that'll be the beginning of Judgment Day. That is with the song, bro. That is the song. The campaign. In late 2010, a campaign was launched to save some souls. They suited up, took to the streets. But it was more than just placards and flyers. Soon they were joined by a caravan of five RVs roaming the country, spreading the good word about the rapture. Thousands of people took it seriously. Many began selling their possessions. They were maxing That's out credit bad cards. That's idea, bro. Taking on debt. Even the news picked up on it. The end is near. Advertising was put on bus stops, in subways. A big expensive billboard was put up. Then another. Then another. Then 5,000 more. In fact, this that quickly became the most expensive, yeah, expensive single bro. event advertising campaign ever. Totaling over $100 million Holy just shit. to tell people about a rapture on May 21st, 2011. How the heck did this happen? The Harold Camping. That's expensive. It's a lot of money. So who is this hardcore gangster rapturist, Rapturous. Harold Camping? <laughs> he was one of the biggest figures in Christian media. He had a show, Open Forum, hosted by his company, Family Radio. All right. In 2010, it was a media empire worth over $70 million. His message went out on over 200 radio stations across the United States and many more around the world. His listenership? Okay. Millions. And when he says the world will end, a decent sized contingent believed it. Now, hold on. I can see Anyone the comment section filling up with edgy atheists and skeptics already. Listen, at first I also didn't believe Mr. Camping. I get it. There have been many people to predict the rapture before and get it wrong. But wait. Give him a chance. I, I looked at all the scientific data I could find, like carbon-14 dating or potassium-argon dating. This time, what? it's different. Camping is coming at you with irrefutable evidence of the rapture because he's using math. This is not just a bit. This is actually how he calculated the rapture. So, <laughs> Jesus died on April 1st, 33 AD. Okay. Now take the year 2011. That's a difference of 1,978. Okay. We times that by 365.2422, and that gives you the number of days it's been since that, including leap years. That equals 722,449. Now keep that number in mind. Keep it in your head. Atonement. Now that's five. Completeness. That's 10. 
and heaven is 17. Where did they get this number? Now we times them all what? together and look at this, 850. Then we square that and that's 722,500, a difference of 51. 51 days plus April 1st, 2011 equals May 21st, 2011. You did it, Mr. Camping. You've yeah. cracked the code. Yeah. And needless to say, his skeptics were left destroyed by facts and logic. Even the ones who pointed out that he predicted the rapture once before in 1994 in a Louis Thoreau documentary. Now, 1994 will be the last yeah. day of the final tribulation period. But shut up, shut up. He's got more to say than just the date. My boy is about to tell you how the whole thing is going to go down. So God's going to snatch <laughs> up all the good boys. About 200 million of them. Everyone else? Pets? Even the cute ones? Sorry dudes, you're getting left behind. Then at 6 p.m. exactly on Christmas Island, earthquakes are going to start doodling all over the place, rolling their way across the earth, taking out almost everyone at exactly 6 p.m. according to their time zone. Those earthquakes will then trigger gigantic tsunamis, 10 kilometers tall, and go as far inland as Colorado. Every soul left behind will be forever damned, eventually to go straight down to me. What am I watching? Now, let's not go lumping everyone in. Most Christian groups did not believe in Harold For Camping's real, teachings. Bro. In fact, most Christian groups don't believe in predicting the rapture at all, and even consider it a sin. Ooh. Matthew 24, 36 specifically says that no man can know the day or the hour. So to try and guess at it would be to go against scripture. Ooh. Accordingly, Protestant and Catholic groups That's denounced bad. Mr. Camping's claims. May 21st, he's a follower of Harold Camping. The scriptures do not teach that. No man knows the day or the hour. In fact, even Camping's own producer at Family Radio said it was a bad idea. But that didn't stop Mr. Camping. He saw the big churches as corrupt anyway. So he ignored them and continued this charging forward with his, his prediction. Grave. There's just no reason in the world, no possibility that it will not happen. And so did his followers. Boss, boss, boss. It sounds to me like he wants it to happen. You know? He wants it to happen. Bro. Oh my god, bro. You know, I don't consider myself like very religious. But I also don't consider myself as an atheist. You know, I just like, I'm a normal, you know. Uh, like I'm a normal person. I consider like, there's gods. Gods, not one. A lot of them. In a lot of mythologies, I consider all of them existing, but that doesn't mean I need to worship them. You get where I'm coming from? Like, sir, I know, I think they exist, but I don't consider them as my God. I don't worship them. You get where I'm coming from? Alright, let's get back to it. 97% of the people, God will How destroy. You know? So basically, 97% are all evil in your logic. Do you think this thing is getting blown up too much in the media and elsewhere? <sighs> Before we go on, two important details. Number one, Family Radio receives most of its funding through donations, bequeathments, ads, merchandise, okay. and sponsors, but mostly just donations. Two, Family Radio was established in 1959, camping as the owner and CEO, but there are two other chairmen on board to keep him in check. Or at least there were. Unfortunately, in recent years, those other chairmen were getting quite old and sick and having a tougher and tougher time telling camping no to poor decision making. So by 2010, camping effectively had free reign over the company, free reign over its yeah. messaging, Free reign over its so audience, basically he drive his own company and free to reign over the <laughs> spending. And he started spending like, well, like the world was going to end. The media soon picked up on the ubiquitous advertising, and the word spread further. This, in turn, encouraged more advertising, and in turn, more media interest. So things were snowballing. By early May, everyone was talking about the rapture. 
The search term End of the World May 21st was number two on Google search, followed by Harold Camping, May 21st Doomsday, and May 21 Rapture, also in the top ten. The traffic online was so substantial it even caused Family Radio's servers to crash. Soon, it became a bit of a meme. And the internet did what it does best. On May 19th, Operation Rapture was conceived. Okay, lads, we'll wake up early on May 21st <laughs> and throw clothes into the street. What the fuck? It's going to look like a bunch of people were teleported <laughs> to the afterlife, and hopefully some of them are going to freak out. Well, they had a pretty good turnout, but it doesn't seem like anyone fell for it. Oh, man. Disappointingly, it seems like no one showed up for the pre-rapture orgy organized on Facebook either. Although maybe that's because the location was a bit vague. But best of all, was an event organized by the Phenomenauts. They got people together in the middle of town and filled a bunch of sex dolls with helium and attached them really? to balloons to transcend into the heavens. <laughs> it was a beautiful yeah, moment and it made a lot of us reflect. I should have been a better person! <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. People also tried to make some cash off the situation. They offered to buy Camping's followers' stuff on Craigslist for pennies on the dollar. Offering to buy on Craigslist raptured people's possessions. There was also a famous eBay auction, $100,000 post-rapture insurance for only $19.99. But one startup did do quite well. Dog sit for those called up to heaven. Based around taking other people's pets in the event of a rapture. And I believe they still operate today. So up next, we'll show you what happened on May 21st and what happened to all those people who truly believe. But first... My rhymes are no, flying, no, 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 bro. Come on, bro. My crew no. is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my... Ad time. Who's there? Hello, it's me. Oh my God, continue. it's Jesus. What are you doing here? Well, I just wanted to tell you that me and God have seen your Google search <laughs> history and were very disappointed. Oh hey guys, you no! Can, you can skip this one. That's this one right, and now you're not getting you know. into heaven or the more exclusive version, Super Heaven, which features a delicious seafood buffet. Oh no! Yup. Oh, how I wish I had taken the time to hide my internet viewing habits. Well, you didn't, and now you're doomed five ever. Has this ever happened to you? Go to nordvpn.com slash internet historian to keep your website traffic anonymous. All looks wholesome to me. Plus, it also gives you region unlock. Oh, hey, look. It's the UK's exclusive channels. And you didn't even pay a telly license. Oi, oi, stop that. That'll be £52.9 thruppence. What? Too late, copper. I've brexited to Australia now, a place where no law can touch me. How much would you pay for this service? A billion dollars? Literally gazillions? Not today. Get 75% off three-year plan at nordvpn.com slash internet historian and use code internet historian to get a free extra month which that's includes that. unlimited <laughs> data, ultra-fast speeds, region unlocking in all these places, also a map of the world which is useful for things such as geography. Wow, that's so good I might even get code internet historian NordVPN myself. Yes, Jesus, I think that would be a good idea. Ha 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 Add over. Let's go back. Before we go on with Mr. Camping, I want to point out two other predictions. In 1806, Mary Bateman also predicted Doomsday. Through a Isn't chicken, that that girl? it was dubbed the prophet hen of the Leeds. Egg. Because it started laying eggs with the know. message, Christ is coming, marked onto them. Amazing. And it all appeared legit. Locals saw the hen lay eggs with the message already written onto them. Can't fake that. Oh my God, people said, and many more flocked to the area to pray. Well, on inspection of the eggs, it was soon figured out what was yeah. going on. Mary Bateman had used a corrosive substance to etch into the egg, and then, a couple of minutes before everyone would gather around to watch the chicken lay, Mary would... <laughs> oh dear. 
<laughs> come on, come on, man. That's not funny. She was an interesting character, though. Claimed to be a witch. Poisoned a couple that same year with a deadly pudding. I didn't know that. She was later tried and hanged in 1809. Strips of skin from her corpse were tanned and sold as magic charms to ward off evil spirits. What the fuck I didn't am I know reading? That too. Also, shout out to 2012. Remember that one? As December 21st, 2012 marks the end of the world. Well, we came because it's the end of the world tomorrow and we thought we'd better pop in here because apparently oh this God. place will be saved. With accents like those, you would hope they'd be the first to go come the apocalypse. Ooh. Okay, okay, let's get on with it. Let's take a closer look at some of the people who followed camping. Take Robert Fitzpatrick, 60, former government employee. I had plans after I retired, but uh, I put them all aside. I, I feel as if I've been drafted. You're risking all of it. He took almost all of his yeah. life savings, $140,000, to have 3,000 posters put up in New York City subways and God bus stops. Made hurts. I'm not going to tell you I'm down to my last penny, but you know it's a good chunk of what I had saved up, sure. Does it matter if you're down to your last penny if the doomsday is coming? No, it doesn't. And he's not the only one. According to the LA Times, the Bauer family hopped in their minivan and drove across the country to see all of the big landmarks before it was too late, racking up thousands of dollars in credit card debt in the process. They really believed they were going to die. Worse still, the Ramsey family. The father quit his job. So did his mum. His younger brother quit oh high school. God, and his wife Marcia thought she was never going to meet her unborn child. Some of these people's lives got pretty yeah. fucked up. And that is falling during... You, you follow the wrong person, you know. The day is here. It's rapture Can't time. Even. Here we go. Oh, Lord, I'm ready. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a rapture. Watch me, guys. <laughs> Mr. Camping spent the day at home in quiet solace and contemplation, waiting for 6 p.m. But that's not what Mr. Fitzpatrick did. A confident Fitzpatrick marched into the oh middle of God, Times Square bro. amongst a crowd of mocking bystanders, ready to prove everyone wrong. I don't know why I'm cringing over this. In three minutes, if it does not happen, what will that mean? I wouldn't entertain that question. You're confident. That's what I read in the Bible. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Uh oh. Nothing happened. Oh my god. It's six o'clock! I don't know if I feel. And then 601. I'm so, I'm so cringing right now. 602. This guy. And by 603, oh Fitzpatrick's god, convictions bro. turned to confusion. Fucking hell. And it's pretty hard not to feel sorry. No, I don't feel sorry for the guy, bro. It's hard. I didn't water my plants. I didn't do the dishes before I left. I didn't expect to be going back home. But it looks like I will yeah. be going back home. But look, just so we're clear, we're all still alive, and the rapture didn't happen. Of course, of course, it didn't happen, right? Like, what about those people who wasted their money, who quit their jobs, like this idiot? Like, it's hard to feel. It's hard to be. It's hard to feel sorry for these people. Like, how gullible can you be? Oh my god, bro. See, this is why you don't follow, like, bro. You don't follow fanatic nut jobs because they, you're gonna end up one of these guys someday if you follow them. For real. I feel. I don't know if I. I don't know if I feel sorry or I feel upset because these idiots, like, bro. oh my god. You're triggering me. Camping was not in the same celebratory yeah. mood. I'm ready to shoot myself or go on a booze trip. Up. The next day was a Sunday. Shut up. People were crushed, confused, looking for answers. They showed up at Camping's church expecting to see him, but someone else was holding the congregation. Uh, peace, people. Instead, Camping spent the day hauled up in his house. Give me a day. No, no interviews at all today. But I'm wondering how you feel today about the, uh, your prediction. I'm bewildered. I'm very bewildered. That's all I can Don't say right now. Don't double bro. Just admit it. Admit on Monday, he appeared on his program. But this time, no open forum. But what he did have was a whole bunch of rationalizations. 
In fact, your boy was doubling down with another <laughs> prediction. October 21st, 2011. And uh, this is it. Uh, and it will continue right up until uh, uh, October 21, 2011. And uh, at no. that time, the whole world no. will be destroyed. No. Now, now I know what you're going to say. And okay, maybe he got it slightly wrong. But... This time he has irrefutable proof of the rapture. Using math. Math. <laughs> Again. So camping took May 21st. Whoa. Then he looked in the book of John, which states they caught 153 fish. So add 153 days to May 21st, making the new rapture October 21st. How can you argue? It's flawless. Yes, Mr. Camping. Add the fish number. You've got it this time. <laughs> on Tuesday, he opened the phones on his radio show, and it was the first time that his show was ever this exciting guy. to watch. Uh, why didn't the rapture happen on May 21st? Don't cut me off yet. And why do you believe so much on it's going to happen another five months? You're, you're really pathetic. You know, I wasted all my money. And I send it to you, and I, and I don't have nothing. I'm just putting my hopes in you. Do you understand? Boss. He called the guy pathetic, but he wasted a lot of money on the guy. Then what, what do you call yourself? If that guy's pathetic, then you're a fucking idiot, you know? You're a worm. You don't even think. God damn, these people. It's hard to feel sorry for them. Fuck. Let's get back, bro. Yeah, Just triggering me at the same time. Just smack you right in What say you now? Oh, yeah, Calling names now. doesn't help anything. After that, viewership steadily declined. Of course, a lot of people would be angry. Now, after his prediction for October 21st, the media asked him, Am I on cocaine? <laughs> no, they asked him, Will you dissolve the company in October? His response? I am not the CEO. I'm a servant of God working here, and God is the CEO. We look to him all the time. Yeah, he has a thousand ways of getting me out of here. We have to leave that question with the Lord, not with you or with me. That's not our business. That's God's business. <laughs> and how prescient. Because two weeks later, he had a stroke. Ooh. I do hope he gets the message. But he didn't. A month later, he was back to doing his show. And he pressed on with his new prediction. By October 16th, though, he came to his senses. He admitted that no man could know exactly when the rapture would happen, and made no statement when October 21st came and went. Finally, on November 1st, he retired from his leadership position at Family Radio. Should have done that Just under earlier. two years later, he was dead. The result of complications from a fall at his home. It, w it wasn't me, it was him. Nope. Look at him. <laughs> Get him. But look, I don't want to be too harsh. He was a flawed man. He messed up some people's lives. But in the end, he confessed his mistakes too. I was totally convinced. Totally convicted of it. But I was wrong. I was wrong. I have sinned. I think now he truly believed the rapture was you know, coming. This wasn't down. one big grift. And everyone just kind of got swept up in the excitement of it all. So let's put a bow on it with what happened to Family Radio. During the rapture campaign, Family Radio raised a lot of money. But not as much as they spent. As well as draining their funds, they sold off important radio stations to pay for a lot of the advertising. In the process, they greatly tarnished their reputation. Okay. They were bringing in scores of millions in revenue in 2011, but by 2012, it was down to single-digit millions. Now, this is still a substantial amount, but not when you consider their operating costs were $26 million Fuck. per year. That's a lot and of they couldn't rely on donations to make up the windfall because goodwill had dried up. Now, with fewer radio stations and a shrinking reach, they moved to distance themselves from camping and his baggage. Shows from mainstream Christian groups that Harold pronounced as corrupt were brought into the programming schedule. 
they announced they would no longer air the teachings of Mr. Camping. And finally, on their website, they removed the archives of Mr. Camping's audio recordings. Okay, I've kind of bummed everyone out, but that's the end of the story. I've got nothing else to say. So here's a whole bunch of weird Baroque and Renaissance paintings. You know, they're hard to feel sorry for these people, you know. They kind of deserve it. They follow their own person and uh, they're not paying for it, you know. But who does spend that much, much money for a company like $100 million for What is a lot of money? Oh, also for Howard Campion, bro, he's so presumptuous to assume that he knows fucking rapture even though it's a sin to do it, you know. I said before, not a very religious person, but I believe there's a god, a lot of gods. I don't worship them, I believe more in science. Alright, let's clear this up. You know the drill, like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button for post notifications. Also, comment down below if you have any suggestions. Check out my playlist. I'll see you guys soon. For some reason, like, this triggered me so much. That's, that's a lot of money, man. Bro, come on, man. You wasted 100 million.